Just a quick follow-up on the last video on how to organize your vendors. Uh, if you want to create a new vendor, let's say some of your vendors are not in here yet, or you're just adding in a new 3PL, third-party fulfillment center, or prep center, something like that, you can just go up here to the uh, green plus button, and this is where you can add a new vendor. Just click this button right here, add a new vendor, choose what type of vendor it is, whether it's a supplier, a warehouse, or both. It could be all of the above. Uh, it could be all three, or just one or the other. Obviously, the default status is active. Give it a name, ABC Warehouse. You can put additional information there, choose the color, contact info. Now, just a note, if you put an email address in here, this will be the email address used when you're creating purchase orders or work orders. So very important if you want that automatically to populate on your purchase orders or work orders. If it is a warehouse, you definitely need to either check this box or add the warehouse location. <clears throat> if it is a warehouse, like we said in the last video, you need to make sure the marketplaces for Amazon are turned on or that inventory will not show up as available on the forecast page. So the default is on. Obviously, if you're in Europe or other marketplaces, those will show up here as well. Uh, factory address, again, could be the same as the warehouse address. Uh, blackout dates, we've already kind of covered this, but you do have the ability to put in blackout dates such as Chinese New Year, New Year or national holidays, things like that, payment terms, etc. So you basically just go through, put any notes, and then save changes, and that will add that vendor to your list of new vendors right here.